Chapter Ten, My Ita. Please listen to the pronunciation of the word meanings carefully to help you with the pronunciation so that you can do it with clarity. Teji mola, Ita, Beetle leaves, Tremble, Usha and Aniruddha, Pamper, Slumber. Listening. Teji Mola, a story. This has been taken from the website purplepencilproject.com. Once upon a time, there lived a merchant who had a beautiful daughter called Teji Mola. After he lost his wife, he married again so that the child could get a mother. But alas, that was not the case. The stepmother would shower love on Teji Mola in front of her husband, but was jealous of Teji Mola and the attention the father showered on his daughter. One day, the father had to travel out of his village for work, and no sooner had he left, she started ill-treating Teji Mola. Soon she was made to work and was deprived of all basic comforts, including food. The stepmother was worried that Teji Mola would soon have to be married, and that would cost her husband significantly. To avoid the expense, she decided to get rid of the child. One day, Teji Mola got an invitation to a friend's wedding. And much to her surprise, the stepmother agreed to let her go. She not only allowed Teji Mola to go, but even packed some wedding attire and ornaments, and asked her not to open the packet till she reached the venue, to avoid getting robbed on the way. However, when she opened the packet at the venue, there was nothing. Except some tattered clothes and some broken bits of jewelry, Teji Mola was scared that she would be blamed for the packet to have been misplaced. As expected, the stepmother was angry when Teji Mola reached home. She was punished by making her to pound rice on the traditional rice pounder. As the child was pounding rice. Her hand slipped under the heavy pounder and crushed. That did not lessen her troubles. When the stepmother asked to pound with her legs, which too met with the same fate, the stepmother then put her head too in the pounder and killed Teji Mola and buried her at the backyard of her house. Soon neighbors started asking about her. And the mother would say that Teji Mola had gone to visit her friend. One day, a beggar came to the stepmother and requested if she could pluck a gourd which had bloomed in her backyard. The stepmother was surprised and said that she didn't even have any gourd in her garden. When she went with the old beggar, she was horrified. To find a giant creeper at the same spot where she had buried Teji Mola, the stepmother left in fear, allowing the beggar to take her gourd. As soon as the beggar bent to cut the gourd, she heard a voice sing, "Don't pluck me, old woman. My name is Teji Mola, and my stepmother has killed me and buried me here." The beggar was scared and rushed to the stepmother to report what she had heard. The stepmother cut the creeper and threw it away in some remote corner of her garden, and thought that she would be solving the problem she had created. A few weeks later, a group of travelers knocked at the stepmother's door, wondering if they could pluck some fruits from the plum tree in her garden. When the stepmother said that she did not have any plum tree, One of them took her to the part of the garden where she had seen the tree. Once again, to the horror of the stepmother, she found a blooming plum tree where she had discarded the creeper. When one of the travelers 
tried to pluck a fruit, he heard, Don't pluck me. My name is Teji Mola and my stepmother has killed me and buried me here. Shocked, the passerby hurriedly informed the stepmother what they had heard. The stepmother chopped the tree and threw it away in the flowing river. However, the very next day, her husband was returning by the river in a boat. The father was desperate to see his daughter. As he was nearing his home, he saw a beautiful lotus and bent close enough to pluck it for his daughter Teji Mola. No sooner had he tried to pluck it when he heard a soft voice, Don't pluck me, father. I am your Teji Mola. Your wife killed me and now I am this lotus. The shocked father said, If you are my daughter, then turn into a dove and come with me to my house. The lotus turned into a dove and went home with the father. On reaching home, the father inquired about Teji Mola, to which the stepmother said that she had gone to her friend's house. The father then looked at the dove and said, If you really are Teji Mola, then show me yourself, to which the dove changed into Teji Mola. The evil stepmother couldn't believe what she saw and ran away in horror, and the father and his daughter lived happily ever after. The story of Teji Mola was written by the renowned Assamese author Lakshminath Besborwa. And since the first publication in 1911, it has been a part of Assamese folklore.